fires the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. First down, Fields. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. A big play there for the Patriots. It would appear these guys aren't fooling around. A big play on the second play from scrimmage. Well, last night at our meeting, you said you thought that they would test the secondary early, but I don't know if you meant it on the second play of the game. I thought you meant, eh, as we get into it a little bit, they decided to just come right out swinging. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Off the play fake, Fields. Sliding out of the pocket. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. They snap it to Fields. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And this crowd loves it as their guys hold on the opening drive. Now a play fake. Carr. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Reggie White, what a force. Got back there for the sack. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Carr looking downfield for Godwin. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On play action, it's Carr. And that will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Card to throw for it on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and that will force a turnover on downs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the gun, Fields. He's going to take another shot here. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by the veteran Richard Sherman. And the Buccaneers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. See if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Looking deep downfield, and it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. 
He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get him going. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. On play action. Now Carr. Lush coming and he's taken down. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Another try after the first down sack. Carr, he's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They fake the handoff. Now Carr airing this one out for Evans. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Now, remember, they were unsuccessful earlier in this first quarter. Going for it on fourth, they're going to try a second time. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Going up top for Cup. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. On second and 10, Fields flushed out right. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. On first and ten, here's Fields. Dancing to his left, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And behind the chain, second and 13. On the run, it's Barkley. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. On play action, Fields. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Bucs are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big connection on that one. 33 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. From the gun, it's Carr. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Another try after the first down sack. Carr eluding the pressure right. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. An 
incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Carr. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Fourth down. Try to lay one up deep. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Patriots take over, and they're going to have terrific field position. And oh, it'll be intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. And the Buccaneers are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he's doing okay. Now after the INT, it's Carr. He's going to try and go deep again. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. Not really any offense for them to speak of here in this first half. Maybe that's what they needed, that big play. Yeah, and it seems that maybe everything changes right there. They've been a little slow out of the gate. Blitz coming, and down he goes. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Another try after the first down sack. Carr. This is caught. It's Brown. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On first down, Carr. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. A handoff to Fournette. He's able to get four back on the run, but now they'll have to find something here on third and about 14. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. to throw. Flush to his right. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. That's a big gainer on that play. And from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, 